Good evening, and welcome to the class of 2020's virtual Senior Night Awards Ceremony. We are here to celebrate the graduating class of 2020 and their accomplishments. Congratulations to all seniors and their families for their hard work over the past 12 years. Tonight, we will be announcing awards and scholarships in three different categories, community, college and university, and Boonville High School related awards and scholarships. We wish to make note that some scholarship programs were delayed due to the pandemic and we will announce uh, their awards at a later date. We apologize to those scholarship winners who did not have the opportunity to be recognized in this program and any other awards that may have inadvertently uh, been missed given the unique situations that we're all under. Our first award this evening is an unprecedented scholarship opportunity for after many meetings, both in person and virtually, and countless emails, we are thrilled to be at another point in our ongoing journey, naming our 2020 class of Bill Moeller Scholars. As a note, these scholarships are only for Boonville High School students, and in our process of getting to this point has included a detailed application, an interesting creative writing, and an intense interview. I would like to mention the person who has made all of this possible, 1953 BHS graduate Bill Moeller and his tremendous generosity to generations of pioneer graduates. I'd also like to mention his family, foundation board member Troy Huffman, CPA, and our scholarship committee members of which Mr. Moeller's wife, Joyce, is a part of. And last but not least, Mr. Mark Hendrickson at People's Bank here in Boonville for his assistance with the financing of Mr. Moeller's donation. At this time, we'd like to begin the presentations. Students and parents, defining the difference between our top winner and all of the others was incredibly difficult. And while some will receive more money than others, please know that you have all been found worthy to be called Bill Moeller Scholars. So without further ado, here we go. Attending Indiana University to study history and education, receiving $1,000, is Braden Chapman. Attending the University of Evansville to study secondary education and also receiving $1,000 is Jordan McKinney. Attending Murray State to study telecommunication systems and receiving $1,500 is Grayson Thomas. Attending Ivy Tech to study elementary education, also receiving $1,500, is Taylor Rusin. Attending Rose Holman Institute of Technology to study mechanical engineering, receiving $5,000, is Kylie Hart. And our overall winner plans to study pharmacy at Purdue University, receiving the $10,000 award that is renewable for four years for a total of $40,000, is Reed Overton. Thank you again to Mr. Moeller and his family, the foundation board, our scholarship committee, parents and community members for being a part of the most unique opportunity afforded to high school students in the state of Indiana. Congratulations again to all of our 2020 Bill Moeller Scholars. Hello, my name is Stacy Flamian and I am happy to announce several community awards. The Travis Williams Charitable Trust Awards are given each year to senior athletes. This year's recipients are Zebulon Miles and Whitney Heidorn. They each receive $150. 
The Boonville Fire Department scholarship goes to Tyler Cobb. The James D. Eifler scholarships are presented to students in two categories, general education and for technology. The winners of this year's general education awards are Hunter Bruce and Lily Cahoon. The recipients for the technology awards are Kaylee Hart and Kylie Hart. The Ronald D. Madden Memorial Scholarship is presented to Erica Daniels. She will receive $400. The Blind Horse Bottom Scholarship is presented to three Boonville High School seniors, Kyra Durr, Blake Goins, and Whitney Heidorn. The Boonville American Legion wishes to recognize several scholarship winners. The Legion Girl Award goes to Haley Irvin. The Legion Boy Award goes to Camden Greer. The Sons of the American Legion Scholarship goes to Hunter Bruce. And the Legion Auxiliary Scholarship of $500 goes to Olivia Greer. The Hunter Thomas McDaniel Scholarship is presented to Trevor Camp in the amount of $1,000. The Poor Man's Country Club Scholarship is awarded to Haley Irvin for $1,000. The Warwick County Community Foundation presents the graduating class with several scholarships. They are as follows. The Warwick County Community Foundation Scholarship valued at $650 goes to Benjamin Davis. The Bobby Kerr Memorial Scholarship of $275 goes to Travis Klein. The Warwick County Community Foundation Scholarship of $3,000 goes to Reed Overton. The Friends of Warwick County 4-H Scholarship present $500 to Braden Chapman. There are two Joseph B. Campbell Memorial Scholarship winners, Jacob Davis and Lily Cahoon. They will each receive $750. The Karen Fleming Metzger Memorial Scholarship goes to Blake Goins in the amount of $650. The Jeb Gorley Celebrate Life Scholarship, valued at $3,000, goes to William Rao. The Wayne Guerin Scholarship for $2,500 goes to Travis Klein. The Wayne Guerin Scholarship, valued at $1,000, goes to Olivia Greer. The Boonville Kiwanis Eugene S. Schmidt Memorial Scholarship goes to Whitney Heidorn in the amount of $1,000. The Boonville Kiwanis Charles A. Durr Memorial Scholarship goes to Trevor Camp in the amount of $1,000.
People's Bank in Boonville gives two awards. First is the Merrill Garrison LeMay Speech Scholarship, which goes to Devin Galloway. The Louise Kester Nursing Scholarship goes to Trevor Camp. The Boonville Merchants Association gives two scholarships each year with profits from the Square Flare. The winners this year, each receiving $1,500, are Travis Klein and Grayson Thomas. The Chandler Kiwanis Memorial Scholarship goes to Trevor Camp in the amount of $1,000. The Boonville Lions Club Scholarship wishes to recognize two scholarship winners. Each will receive $1,000. The winners are Camden Greer and Molly Myers. The Play for Kate Memorial Scholarship, valued at $1,000, goes to Taylor Ruchin. The Olivia and Hulda Haas St. John's Endowment Award goes to Jacob Davis in the amount of $1,000. New this year is the Grace Miller Memorial Scholarship. Mrs. Miller was a teacher at Boonville High School for many years. After her death this year, her family and friends chose to honor her through a scholarship in her name. The first award winner receiving $300 is Erica Daniels. The Parrish Fuller Award for Academic Excellence in English goes to Morgan Howard. The Warwick County Teachers Association funds the Partners Scholarship. This year's recipient is Braden Chapman. Our local Tri Kappa Association is proud to present several awards. First is the Emma Z. Roth Award, valued at $1,000 to Erica Daniels. Tri Kappa also gives awards for those who have excelled in music, band, and drama. The award for choir goes to Madeline Figueroa. The award for theater goes to Grace Moberly. The award for band goes to Lily Cahoon. They are each receiving $200. The Associate Chapter of Tri Kappa awards an Outstanding Senior Girl Honor to Jordan McKinney. She will receive $1,000. The Tri Kappa Johnson Foundation has three awards valued at $1,000 each to Erica Daniels, Kaylee Hart, and Kylie Hart. They also wish to give five awards valued at $400 each to Taylor Ruchin, Whitney Heidorn, Tyler Cobb, Molly Myers, and Olivia Greer. The following four awards are given by Mrs. Woolston through the theater department. 
This year's recipient of the Charles Brochier's Memorial Scholarship has been a member of theater for four years. This student has exuded a passion for theater through the numerous shows that he has done at BHS, as well as during the past couple summers at Lincoln Amphitheater. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Devin Galloway. The Daniel Lee Skelton Stagecraft Award goes to a theater member who showed dedication behind the scenes of the productions. This student most recently stepped out of her comfort zone to perform on stage in our fall play and has dedicated her four years in theater behind the scenes as an integral part of our run crew. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Lily Cahoon. The next award is named for Matt Russell, who was a member of the BHS drama for only one year before he was tragically killed in a car accident. He affected all of those around him. His spirit and determination were evident, as well as his talent in theater. This year's recipient is someone who showed passion for theater both on stage and behind the scenes. No matter what happened, the student showed a great deal of dedication to theater arts by being someone who was always willing to help in any way she could and tried her best to instill that same spirit in others. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Madison Cravens. The Rose Award goes to a theater member who is always positive, hardworking, and spirited. This year's recipient shows all of those traits that this award represents. On top of being positive and hardworking, she has put forth a lot of dedication in the theater program and has worked to inspire others to show the same dedication. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Grace Moberly. Hello, my name is Amy Olry and I'm a counselor here at BHS and I will continue to announce several other community awards. The Boonville Archery Club wishes to recognize Travis Klein and Hope Cobb. They are each receiving a scholarship of $500. The Indiana National Archery and Schools program has also given $500 scholarships to Hope Cobb, Travis Klein, and Olivia Greer. The American Red Cross Services Educational Scholarship is awarded to Trevor Camp in the amount of $250. In addition to the Bobby Kerr Scholarship, each year the Kerr family also recognizes a student who has overcome great adversity, yet continues to be positive and inspiring to others in the way that their son Bobby was while he was here at BHS. This year's recipient is Hunter Mosley. The C. Richard and Verna Louise Johnson Foundation Awards are for students who plan to further their career in music. They each receive $5,000. The winners this year are Lily Cahoon and Jake Davis. Earlier this year, faculty members chose this year's recipient for the Daughters of American Legion Good Citizen Award. The student selected exemplifies the following qualities, dependability, trustfulness, loyalty, punctuality, service, cooperation, courtesy, and leadership. This year's recipient is Braden Chapman. The Gorley Family Scholarship is given to a student pursuing a career in agriculture or technology. This year it is presented to Travis Klein. The award is for $1,000. The Old Boonville High School alumni group gives two scholarships, each valued at $500. The recipients for this year's award are Hunter Bruce and Jordan McKinney.
The Warwick County Farm Bureau has three scholarships to announce. They will each receive $500. The winners are Olivia Greer, Dylan Schersinger, and Whitney Heidorn. The Indiana State Lodge of 148 Fraternal Order of Police wishes to recognize their scholarship winner, Hunter Bruce, who is receiving $1,000. The Vanderburgh County Community Foundation presents the Clarence and Dorothy Jarrod Scholarship for Nursing to Trevor Camp. This award is renewable for a grand total of $30,000. The Deaconess Hospital School of Nursing alumni also present two scholarships valued at $2,000 each to Trevor Camp and Blake Goins. The National Football Foundation Scholar Athlete Award valued at $500 goes to Jackson Phillips. The Elks National Foundation Most Valuable Student Scholarship State Level winner is Grayson Thomas. He's receiving $1,000. The Johnny McCool Award is given in honor of a previous BHS athlete. Since 1966, the award has been given each year to the young man who displays the most desire, spirit, hustle, and attitude in his sport. What makes this award prestigious is that it is voted on by the senior male athletes. It is my pleasure to present the 2020 award to Reed Overton. The Mark Collins Student Athlete Award goes to a senior athlete, male or female, who has received at least three varsity letters in one sport or two varsity letters in two different sports and has maintained a high GPA. This year's award goes to Ramey Wilder. The Robbie Carroll Memorial Award goes to a softball or baseball player who exemplifies the characteristics of Robbie Carroll, a former BHS baseball player who tragically lost his life in a car accident in 2004. Robbie loved the game of baseball and did whatever it took to make the team better. He was a compassionate and classy young man. This year, the Robbie Carroll Memorial Award will receive $300, and the winner is Nick Smith. The Dale Davis Sports Memorial Award is given annually and is voted on by the members of the Davis family. The recipients this year will each receive $300, and they are Elizabeth Brocker and Dylan Underhill. Trinity United Methodist Church in Evansville wishes to recognize Brandon Walls, who is receiving the Hetty Stock Scholarship valued at $10,000. The Downtown Evansville Kiwanis Club Career and Tech Education Award goes to Grayson Thomas. The National School Choral Award goes to Madeline Figueroa. The Boonville Youth Soccer League presents two awards of $500 each. Congratulations, Lauren McConnell and Tyler Cobb. The John Philip Sousa Award for Band was presented to Jake Davis. The Semper Fidelis Award for Music was presented to Luke Murphy.
the College Board has granted a $1,000 scholarship to Ben Davis. Hello, my name is Angie Gladish and I am a counselor at BHS. We now move to the second category of college and university scholarships. Western Kentucky University wishes to recognize Grace McConnell with the WKU Academic Merit Scholarship and the WKU Tuition Assistance Program valued at $6,500. Drake Weiss is receiving an Academic Merit Scholarship and tuition assistance totaling $20,000 from WKU. The Salon Professional Academy has given a Cosmetology Student Scholarship to Phoenix Jones valued at $2,000. Franklin College has awarded Hunter Bruce with a $24,000 academic scholarship. Indiana University has awarded Tyler Cobb with a provost scholarship of $8,000. Hanover College has awarded the Blythe and Crow Scholarships valued at $94,000 to Tyler Bray. Lindenwood University wishes to recognize Jackson Phillips who is receiving a $32,000 scholarship. The University of Evansville has four awards. First, receiving the Changemaker Challenge Scholarship valued at $150,000 is Jordan McKinney. A U of E Academic Scholarship valued at $22,000 each year, totaling $88,000, has been awarded to Nicholas Smith. A U of E academic scholarship valued at $18,000 each year, totaling $72,000, has been awarded to Jacob Baker. Lastly, U of E wishes to recognize Elena Acree, who is receiving the academic scholarship and scholar award valued at $25,000 each year, making her award valued at $100,000. Kentucky Wesleyan University has awarded a Presidential Scholarship of $13,500 to Trent Stacy. Murray State University has several awards to present. First is Lily Cahoon, who is receiving the 1922 Society Scholarship, an MSU Department of Music Scholarship, the MSU AA License Plate Scholarship, and the MSU Provost Housing Scholarship totaling $8,000. Jake Davis is also a scholarship recipient at Murray State. He is receiving the Reverend Henry McKenzie Memorial Scholarship, an Academic Achievement Scholarship, a Music Department Provost Music Housing Scholarship, and the MSU Department of Music Scholarship totaling over $10,000. Murray State also wishes to recognize Travis Klein. He is receiving the Mabel Garrett Pullen Freshman Agricultural Scholarship, a MSU Foundation Scholarship, and the Dean Scholarship for Academic Achievement valued at $11,500. Purdue University Fort Wayne has given Ramey Wilder a track and field scholarship valued at $16,000. The University of Southern Indiana also has several awards to present this evening. Receiving the USI David L. Rice Merit Scholarships are as follows. 
USI David L. Rice Merit Scholarship valued at $2,000 goes to Elijah Sign. USI David L. Rice Merit Scholarship valued at $3,000 goes to Kelsey Van Winkle. USI David L. Rice Merit Scholarship valued at $4,000 goes to Damon Wilson. USI David L. Rice Merit Scholarship valued at $6,000 goes to Elizabeth Brocker, Harrison Hayden, Haley Masterson, and Brooklyn Scales. USI David L. Rice Merit Scholarship valued at $8,000 goes to Molly Myers. USI David L. Rice Merit Scholarship valued at $10,000 goes to Riley Andrig and Lily Getty. USI David L. Rice Merit Scholarship valued at $12,000 goes to Morgan Howard. USI David L. Rice Merit Scholarship and John Betty McCutcheon Memorial Scholarship with a combined total of $18,000 goes to Erica Daniels. And lastly, the USI David L. Rice Merit Scholarship and Bill Ross Scholarship valued at $18,000 is awarded to Ben Davis. Ivy Tech has four scholarships to announce. First, receiving a Chancellor's Merit Scholarship valued at $3,000 is Trisha Cundiff. Aaliyah Bilderbach, Haley Irvin, and Madison Cloutier are each receiving an Ivy Tech scholarship valued at $2,500. Congratulations to all of our college scholarship recipients. Boonville High School students who attend the Southern Indiana Career and Technical Center are able to compete in the Skills USA Regional Competition. Congratulations to Michael Samples, who competed and received a Skills USA scholarship and a chance to compete at the state level. The National Honor Society has named Braden Chapman as a National Honor Society NHS Scholar. He will be receiving a scholarship of over $5,000 for his strong commitment to the four pillars of NHS, scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Congratulations, Braden. Would also like to recognize Braden for having perfect attendance over the last four years at Boonville High School. Each year, the President's Service Award is presented to the senior class president to recognize all the time and effort this person has given to the duties involved. An anonymous donor has generously set up a fund so that the senior class president will receive $100 as a small token of thanks. This year's senior class president is Ms. Jordan McKinney. At this time, I'd also like to recognize all of the senior class officers for their hard work and dedication, especially this year. The class of 2020 officers are Vice President Braden Chapman, Secretary Grayson Thomas, Treasurer 
Reed Overton, and historian Willie Rao. The Indiana Commission for Higher Education has awarded 200 scholarships around the state to the fourth class of next generation Hoosier educators. We are very pleased to have two of those scholarship recipients right here at Boonville High School. They will receive, each receive, $7,500 annually, up to $30,000 total for committing to teach in Indiana for at least five years after they graduate. We look forward to the positive impact they will have in a classroom and community right here in Indiana. Those recipients are Jordan McKinney, and Braden Chapman. Each year, the president recognizes superior students with the President's Education Awards program. Students in the top 10% of the senior class may receive this award. Students are selected based on grade point average of 3.5 or above and scoring higher than 85% of all SAT or ACT test takers in the entire nation. Each will receive a gold certificate. The class of 2020's President's Education Award winners are Braden Chapman, Tyler Cobb, Kinsey Edwards, Kaylee Hart, Kylie Hart, Jordan McKinney, Luke Murphy, Reed Overton, Grayson Thomas, Erica Daniels, Ben Davis, Morgan Howard, Jared Russell, Aaron Newland, Willie Rao, Molly Myers, We would like to honor all of our students who will be joining the Armed Forces. Those pursuing a military career are Darren Simpson, Dia Green, Michaela Kester, and Caleb Pryor. Thank you for your patriotism and commitment to our country. All Boonville High School students have the opportunity to pursue the Indiana Academic and Technical Honors Diploma. To earn this diploma, the students must earn 47 credits, receive no grade lower than a C in those 47 credits, and must have a final GPA of 3.0 or higher. The students also have to take additional AP or dual credit courses or receive an exceptional score on their SAT or ACT to qualify. This year, I'm pleased to announce that we have 61 students who are candidates for this diploma upon successful completion of their current courses, six of which have met the requirements for both academic and technical honors diplomas. I am pleased to announce the names of the class of 2020 who will graduate with these distinctions. Congratulations to our academic honors winners, Elena Acree, Riley Anderegg, Lucas Anderson, Elizabeth Brocker, Tyler Bray, 
Hunter Bruce, Madison Cloutier, Hope Cobb, Tyler Cobb, Lily Cahoon, Trisha Cundiff, Erica Daniels, Ben Davis, Jake Davis, Kinsey Edwards, Elijah Ellicoffer, Aiden Ensley, Elias Four, Lily Getty, Blake Goines, Harrison Hayden, Whitney Hydorn, Opal Herr, Morgan Howard, Janae Johnson Howland, Haley Masterson, Grace McConnell, Lauren McConnell, Jordan McKenney, Zeb Miles, Tia Maccabee, Luke Murphy, Molly Myers, Aaron Newlin, Reed Overton, Jackson Phillips, Skylar Rayleigh, Jared Russell, Brooklyn Scales, Nick Smith, Waylon Stevens, Kelsey Van Winkle, Charlie Welty, Harley Welty, Drake Weiss, Ramey Wilder, Damon Wilson, Kiara Whaler. We would like to congratulate the following students for earning technical honors. Blake Brosmer, Mason Johns, Jessica Miller, Cole Persinger, Andrew Richardson, Michael Samples, Dylan Schersinger. The following students have accomplished both earning a academic and a technical honors diploma. Congratulations to Braden Chapman, 
Haley Hart, Kylie Hart, Willie Rao, Trent Stacy, Grayson Thomas. Congratulations to all of our academic and technical honor diploma candidates. Congratulations to all seniors and their families for their many accomplishments. Best of luck to you as you pursue your future goals. We will update the award plaques in the main hallway for you to see in the near future. For most of the awards presented this evening, the community agency will be contacting you directly. For others, please check your email for a follow-up from the counselors on how to claim your award or scholarship money. This concludes our award ceremony. Congratulations, Class of 2020.